15-yard line. Johnson drops, drops it over to Dorsey. Dorsey to the 10, to the 5. Dorsey to the 1. Touchdown, Florida State. Thank you very much for joining us. The Bobby Bowden Show, the nation's longest winning streak, goes by the boards in Miami Saturday afternoon as the Miami Hurricanes and the Florida State Seminoles their first loss of the season. And Coach, rugged battle in the Orange Bowl, as they always are. Well, it really was. We looked like two different teams. One half, we played like a junior high school football team. And uh, the second half, we played real good. I, I hope we found ourselves. Uh, you don't know, but... Uh, first half, it, it looked like our kids didn't feel like they belonged in that league, you know? We really like two different leagues. But then the second half, we came back and, and outplayed them in the second half. So maybe something good will come out of this. Florida State spotted Miami a 24 to nothing lead in the first half, and then came roaring back and were just eight points away before the final horn sounded. We'll have the highlights coming up in a great moment at Florida State football with Burr Reynolds. Stay with us. Too proud ever to see a football game in the Orange Bowl was at the stadium Saturday afternoon to see second-ranked Florida, Florida State take on ninth-ranked Miami. It was Nash great crowd. National television, a beautiful day, and a packed house. It was a beautiful setting, and uh, they kicked the football off. Now, that's Eric Terrell back there returning kickoffs. We were using him and Shannon Baker back there. First play of the ball game, Al Flea picks up about a first down running the football. That's a good sign. You know, you think, uh, I see Mike Marsh leading the way. And then uh, we run a, that was, of course, that was a running play in a passing situation. And uh, we needed, we, we lacked about five yards of making the first down. Then uh, John Wembley from Tampa, Florida, punts the football and uh, gets, a good, gets a good roll on it. Who's that down there covering that thing? Sterling, Sterling Palmer. Sterling Palmer, Palmer, Palmer from Fort Lauderdale and uh, Gene Howe from mm -hmm. North Carolina. Then they, they throw a takeoff here and the, uh, the receiver is covered. Our, our pass defense, I thought, played pretty good. You know, their running game is what really killed us. And I, I guess having, you know, the Ostrzewskis out all week and DeAndre Clark, some of the other guys. Uh, oh, uh, Terrell Buckley playing with a well, bad Terrell, ankle. Terrell, yeah, T Terrell played, but he didn't practice all week, and it, it, it showed. There's Shannon Baker there making a catch there. Then again, we're forced to punt. I looked at the field position. We had terrible field position the first, the first quarter and a half. Every time we got the ball, we were backed up. And then we would get a penalty. We would shoot ourselves in the foot. We'd end up with a third and 30, a third and 20. And they got their running game going. We, we were not very good up. They, they, their offensive line really dominated our defensive line. And, uh, good and, second and oh, third yeah. effort by McGuire. Oh, yeah. He bounced off two or three times. Oh, he did. A, they, they, they did a great job. Miami did a great job. Here's a reverse, beautiful reverse by Hill. And uh, we hem it up out there. Is that the McCorvey out there? Stays John there and fights it pretty good. John yeah, he White's stays out there and fights it. John White. Marvin uh, Jones, our, our freshman linebacker from Miami, he led us in tackling again. He had 15 tackles. So he's going to be an outstanding linebacker. We covered that good. They ended up with three, no, yeah, yeah. I think they ended up with three points here. Yeah. The field. That was batted down by Tony Moss from Miami, Florida. I see Billy Reagan's out there from Live Oak, Florida, playing in a strong state. They kick a field goal. And we come out there, we, we're lucky we'd get out of there on only three. You had to feel pretty good because field position was in the oh, favor and your yeah. defense stopped That's Miami. exactly right. But then we get the ball back and, and we get two, two uh, uh, penalties in a row and, and they, get, they get good field position uh, out of it again. And, uh, but our, our, our punt coverage was good. And, uh, but see, they just keep hammering. They just keep hammering. See, we should have had a tackle there. We, we should have. We missed tackles. Like our kids are blind, you know, like the guy who runs right by us, we don't even see it. I hope we'll get better at that. And I think we will. I, this, the, the, this football team's football is ahead of it. What we've got to hope is we grow up. Now, they, that's uh, another fine run. I tell you, they, Miami had, boy, they got great skill. I think we can match them in skill. I think their skill is older than our skill, and, they, and they're not making the mistakes that ours make. Playing with more, playing with more confidence. Here's a guy that had a great day at uh, uh, Dawson from, from uh, Dothan, Alabama. Somebody said Ashford. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Ashford right outside of Dothan? <laughs> so he, he's a little closer to Ashford. Went to Northview you know, High School in Dothan. Northview Alabama. High School in Dothan. I, I've always said Dothan. Somebody said, well, no, he's really from Ashford, Alabama. We'll have to correct him. But I tell you, he got caught 13 passes the other night for 160 yards, and it's been, what, since 1969 we had a guy catch that man? And Vito since 69. Oh, yeah. And uh, great play by uh, Craig Erickson, the quarterback at Miami. I thought he did an excellent job. He's a... He knows what he's doing. Uh, I think their coach has a great offense here. I, 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 I ain't got nerve enough to run it. <laughs> but it, it, it because, uh, well, it just it depends so much on that quarterback. But it is, it is a tough offense. There's number three, Leon Fowler. 
Howard Dinkins makes the big Dinkins from Jacksonville, Florida makes the tackle. See, they're hammering. Look at them. They're hammering. They're hammering. They're hammering. There's Johnny White playing. I know he must have had some good hits. We started two pure freshmen now. Corey Fuller from uh, Tallahassee, Florida, started at corner in, in, in the place of uh, Buckley. And then, of course, Marvin Jones. But they, they stepped right over us. Their, their offensive line beat our defensive line, Gene. And I, we, we have really got to get better in that area. And I think we can if we can get the guys healthy and get out there and practice with them. When they, when they don't practice, they don't play well. 17 nothing now, Coach. And uh, 1988 had to be going through your mind because uh, this is about the way that game was. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. We went down there last time. They like to kill us. There's Kirk Carruthers making a tackle there. And uh, we, we oh, this kid makes a great, a good, great block out there. And uh, old Fowler kind of heads him back. Johnny White makes a tackle. And a couple of guys get in. They're pushing us around pretty good now, though, you know. They are really pushing us around. Good play by Abbott. Bryce Abbott from uh, Tifton, Georgia, makes a play there. And uh, then they hit, a, they hit a strike here. Nice, nice, beautiful pass, beautiful catch. And uh, it looks like they're going to look 24 to nothing. <laughs> 24 to nothing, man. I'm, we ain't done nothing. But now then it's all Florida State from now on. See? Right there, uh -huh. But you can't give Miami a 24-point lead. There's a nice catch by Edgar Bennett, who played another football, good football. He had four or five more catches in this ball game. We had we dropped early in the ball game. We were dropping him, but this guy right here played like an All-American. Uh, it'd be hard for uh, Dawson. He played like an All-American. He's got such oh, he's so competitive. Uh, Brad Johnson back there to throw. Now pass protection was good. Now our pass blocking was good. Reggie Dixon, uh, Mancini, Mike Morris, uh, Hayward Haynes, uh, Robin Baker. Robin Baker keeps getting better. He's only a sophomore. He keeps getting better in there. And one, of these, one of these days, I think we're going to dividend. We'll pay the. Now there's Dossie on his touchdown run. Nice catch. And uh, and uh, so that makes it what? Six. We go for two. That was our Coca-Cola play of the game. That was the Coca yeah, exactly. That was the play of the game right there. Now that we, you know we just hadn't had any momentum all game. And Dossie gets he he broke five tackles there, I'm betting, on that touchdown. We go for two here and get it batted down. Get the ball batted down, had the receiver open, but uh, they, they made a good play. And uh, and so anyway, we, we got six points. Going at the half, what, 24 to 6? They played Miami. Well, I was sitting right beside you, and uh, everything was levitating in the room, you know? And, and I remember when uh, Dexter Carter went sailing down the sideline, and I jumped up and yelled things that shouldn't have been on the radio. But what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> in that ball game, there was, in my estimation, and we talked about this before, and you're the one that brought it up, and you thought this was a turning point. And I totally agree with you. Which play was that? Miami was driving, they got down on like a one-foot line, and uh, they were going in. And uh, I think it was Eric Hayes, I'm not sure. Somebody stopped him on the one-foot line. He fumbled, and uh, Carruthers, who was always the right guy at the right place all day long, uh, got the fumble. In fact, Carruthers, I think, made Sports Illustrated Player of the, of the Week. So, Bert, Florida State beats Miami 24-10. to 10. And Miami goes on to win the national championship. So we see all those t-shirts all over Tallahassee that say a Miami national championship team, except they lost to Florida State. That's <laughs> the only way we could do that. But Florida State, 24, Miami, 10. And Florida State maybe should have been number one that year. Join us again next week when we really have to go in the Orange Bowl. And, Coach, it looked like a, a Jekyll and Hyde football team. Your team really came out fired up in the second half. Uh, Gene, the big thing I had it said at the halftime was remind them that in 1987, we had led Miami 19-3 going into the fourth quarter. I said, Miami had the poise and the, to come back and win the game. I said, now, by God, we're going to have to go out and do the same thing. And, 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 and our kids went back and really really played a, a great game. I, I was very, the second half, I thought we... we, we uh, we got every drop out that we could get. Uh, the kids just really played. I said good Bennett there on a nice run. There on fourth down there, uh, we fight, tried to fake a punt and go for it. Uh, Reggie Johnson ran the ball, and we, only, we came up about, about six inches short. But our defense, uh, you know, held them here. They, they had a fourth and two inches now, mm -hmm. and our defense that. stopped them. That's encouraging, huh? We, we could stop the short yards, so we could not stop them on first down. They could get about six, seven oh, yards on first down. Unbelievable. Now, Reggie really moves good, and there's is that Dawson again. Dawson. See how he fights to stay on his feet after he gets hit? He don't go down on that first shot, and he just doesn't do it. Brad stayed in his pocket good. I pat this Mancini there from Brandon, Florida, protecting Dawson from, from Alabama. Yeah. Well, that's, he just glides across the middle. And that was the type of play that uh, Miami's defense is designed to stop. I know, Dawson yeah. got free time yeah. and time again. Matt Fryer there from Live Oak was blocking. 
Here comes old Brad Johnson. He's looking. Nobody's open. He's going to find Dawsey again. Watch him. Excellent throw. Excellent catch. Uh, Brad Johnson did a good job. I was very pleased with what he did. I was also pleased Casey Weldon came in. I directed a nice touchdown drive. Oh, that was a nice play there. <laughs> oh, Dave Roberts. Dave Roberts had his best game. I mean, he had quite a few catches. You know, he's Eight a, catches, 82 yards. Yeah. Rich Andrews, who's played so well for us. I'm on, I might have to take a look at him punting this next week. I might, because he's a good punter. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take a look at him in practice and see what happens. And there are the gap here, Coach. It's 24 to 9. 24 to 9, and we come back down. Here's uh, Amp Lee running the football. No, yes, Amp, 42 from Chipley, Florida. Picked, picked up a nice uh, run there. And Brad comes back and uh, finds old Dawsey again for a first down. It wasn't very, we needed three yards, and Dawsey gets three. It's a, it's a game of inches. They're getting where they start looking old Dawsey up now, though. And uh, so there's Dawsey again. Boy, he's held on to that he, ball. He, he, he just, he's just so dependable. And uh, we just, again, our play in the second half, let's get the ball to Dawsey. He's doing something. And, and, and other guys are, are, are having a hard time. And then this, the other half of the, the duo was uh, 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 Dave Roberts. Between Roberts From and Griffin, Dawsey, Georgia. that's uh, what, uh, they, 13 uh, catches and eight. That's 20, 21 catches. 21 catches, see. There's, uh, there's Roberts again, hangs on the ball good, wraps it up good, takes it down to three, and then Ample from Chipley. Uh, takes it in uh, for the touchdown. Uh, Amp was a good block out there by uh, Hayward Haynes. Real fine block. And he goes in standing up. And uh, Brad Brad did a real good job there. Got some good blocking there on that play. Uh, Marvin Fleming. Yeah. Marvin Farrell, 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 excuse me. Mm -hmm. Marvin Farrell from Jacksonville, Florida, went in at tight end position and blocked. And so now you're eight, you're, 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 you're eight points away. Mm -hmm. And then we take the ball down and fumble. You know, we had a, a center uh, quarterback change. Now they come back and they get a nice drive here. Great, great, great job by their, their ball club. Six and a half minutes of clock time. Oh, and they get the, the seven points. Yeah, and, and they're running over us and through us and everything else. Mm -hmm. And uh, they just, they, they, now they, this is where you have to say that they're a great ball club because they, they had to have this drive. And they came back and got it. And uh, it reminds me of that when they played Notre Dame last year, when he was on the goal line, they came off and, and, and did it. That's what great teams are doing. Dennis Erickson is doing a great job at the University of Miami. And he's got a very compatible staff, in my opinion. That was the only score in the second half by Miami. Right That's there. exactly right. Yeah, so we, we played so much better. Coach, it sounds as you get beat, it's easy to say. You know. But uh, now here comes Casey. We put Casey in the ball game. It's Shannon Baker. I saw Shannon's mother at the ball game and his, her, and, and his dad. They didn't, uh, they, I didn't get to talk to them, but I did get to see them. And uh, here we are back, Casey again. And uh, those are not, uh, there's one of the that's a great catch by Dawsey. Gets out of bounds. He just does everything you could have. Just does everything he has. And uh, that great play, great play there by uh, Casey, yes, Casey Weldon. And uh, it was all, all over in two plays at oh, all. Yeah. He still completed a pass. Yeah, then he throws a touchdown pass to Dave Robertson. Boy, that was a big one. And uh, then we tried an onside kick uh, right after this now. And we got it. And we thought we got it. The officials didn't think we did. Now we tried to throw a pass to Casey, and we, we threw the ball a little bit low. There's but here, now we, yeah, we thought we got this thing. We thought we got At least our kids thought they had it. I, well, I, I, I can't see. I just listen hard. <laughs> there was a big pile up on the collision there. Yeah, the but one, we needed that. One we'll side kick. We'd have time for one play. You never know what'll happen. Uh, 24 seconds left on the clock, and the Seminoles were down by nine at the time. Yeah, and that the final that, that, score. They'd have won it no matter what, because I, I, if it had been eight, maybe we could have got it and got two. But, but it was a great, it was a great football game, especially if you're from Miami. <laughs> final <laughs> score: 31 to 22. The Miami Hurricanes.